What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Movie Pod. Now, my name's Isaac, joined about our co-host, Joseph, over there. How you hey, doing, how you going? Um, I'm not too bad. It's Wednesday night. I got school tomorrow. Off exam look now. Um, it's kind of fresh, isn't it? It's 14 degrees. It is freaking cold. And I'm in a t-shirt. I've been in a jump for the last week, but I'm, yeah, it is getting cold. I don't like the cold, so that's not fun. I get sick as well. But guys, Fast and Furious 10. Fast X comes out literally tomorrow in two days for you Americans. And uh, we got four more Road to Fast X reviews to do. So we are slamming them out tonight. It's currently 10.40 p.m. School tomorrow. I don't give a shit. Yeah, we're slamming these out. Four reviews. We got Tokyo. We we're doing it in chronicle order. We so we got Tokyo Drift, and then seven, and then eight, then nine. Uh, Tokyo Drift review. This one, and then seven. We, they'll be good reviews fleshed out. But eight and nine, we do not care. Eight, one of my least favorite movies ever made. I despite it. Anyway, Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift. <laughs> Tokyo Drift is a is a um. It's a it's a great movie. Don't get me wrong. I I I rank it fifth. Out of my Fast and Furious movies ranked. I rank it fifth. It, it's good. Because, you know, you get the refresher. You watch six. And six is when, you know, the action starts coming in. Even, you know, four and five. You watch Tokyo Drift and it feels like the first one. It's back to literal car culture. So, yeah, it's a refresher if you watch it in chronicle order. Um, It definitely, a lot of people do love it. Um, it, the reason it was made is because they wanted to continue on with the Fast and Furious franchise, but they couldn't afford, like, <laughs> they couldn't afford to have Vin Diesel and all the main stars for walking back in it. Um, so, you know, they did, got a whole new cast set in Tokyo with an American kid. Cool. It's, um, it's got a 38, yeah. 38% Rotten Tomatoes yeah. score, but it's got a 69. It's pretty poor, actually. It is bad. It's got a 69% audience score. Um, on Rotten Tomatoes, yeah, six out of ten on IMDb. But I love, I love it. It's short. It's the shortest Fast and Furious movie. It's only an hour and forty-four minutes. It was set in Tokyo. Oh, wow, that's that is literally short. the center of car culture, especially like JDM. Um, JDM culture. But yeah, they they changed. So this is the first one with Han. Like, well, Han was introduced in this one, and then he obviously died, but didn't actually die, as we know in nine. Um, oh, spoilers! <coughs> it doesn't matter. The movie came out eight, 18, 19 years ago. Two thousand six. Two thousand six. Wait, so that's uh fifteen, sixteen, 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 seventeen, eighteen, eighteen years, seventeen, seventeen years ago. Seventeen. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. Seventeen. Is it seventeen? No. I'm dumb. I was born in 2007, I'm 17 next year. I could have just done it that way. 17 years. This movie came out 17 years ago. Um, and it's set in, what, 2016? Like, yeah, that, that is a... Because <laughs> it's weird, because they're filming with little iPods and little flip, flip, flip phones. But it's based so far in the future. It's, <laughs> it's pretty funny. It was... <laughs> He'd love to see it. With, and but. it's the first one Justin Lin directed. Um, he was originally directing 10, but he pulled out. Um, Which and then the may or may not be a good thing. And then the director rewrote the third <laughs> act in one night. So, a little scary. Little. We'll see. Um, but no, Tokyo yes, Drift is course. fun. It's got, you know, it's a car culture. It's got really good car racing. Um, street racing, it does. You know, I'm part of the first one with the street racing. I love Sean Boswell, Han, DK, um, you know, Drift King, Twinkie. Um, oh, Twinkie. And it was nice to see them back in 9. As much as 9 is a pretty stupid movie, you know, it's cool. <laughs> I hope they're in 10, surely, right? Surely. Yeah, you'd think so. I mean, Han's back. You know, they, we, got, we got to see their, re, like, proper reunion with Han. The one in 9 was pretty bad. They didn't even talk. They looked at each other, gave each other a hug, cut to another scene. So, yeah. Yeah, very mild, very, yeah. very unenthusiastic. And we get uh, Dominic Toretto, our little K-1 
cameo at the end of this one, which was really cool. Um, he's like, to Sean, he races Sean, he's like, yeah, Han was my friend, as we see in, you know, the previous movies, because this one is set after six. Um, and seven has a great start. Seven kind of redoes. Bro, the, the Han's death has been redone, has happened three times. So we have it in Tokyo Drift, and they then they re- refilm it for seven to have it that Deckard Shaw ran into him. And then in nine, they do it again and make him, make it look like he survived. They do it three times. Um, so that's, that, that's, Mr. Nobody. You don't love Mr. Nobody's little tricks. Yes, of course. Mr. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a bit fishy, but, um, what are you going to do about it, really? Yeah, it is what it is. It's, I like the movie. It's a good, you know, it's a good standalone Fast and Furious movie. With this, you know. Sure. Yeah. Because it, it does, like, you watch it in chronicle order, it does, like, piece together very well. Han's in Tokyo now because, obviously, Giselle died, so he want, he always wanted to go to Tokyo. He's kind of a little dickhead in, 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 in Tokyo, who wouldn't be, you know, the love of your life just died. But he's cool. You know, it's a good movie. It, do, it does piece to, with six very well and the previous ones. Um, yeah, it's a solid movie. Yeah, yeah, it it, it has its problems. Like it's not perfect. Yeah, <laughs> um, the Australian lady, what's her name? Oh yeah, um, Neela. I yeah, Neela, Neela. I I don't hate her, um, but she is one of the weaker parts. Um, I I think Twinkie is great. Oh, he is. Yeah. We love Twinkie. DK probably is probably one of the best parts of it. DK is a cool villain. DK is cool. He's like I, I don't know. always love. Uh, some of Sean's acting is a bit on the nose. It's a bit too much. It's okay, but it's yeah. you, it, you know what I mean. It also kind of feels weird. Like he's an American. They sent an American. Look. I don't know. It's cool. Yeah, the whole like concept the, of the it. The movie is pretty cool. Him coming into Tokyo, getting bullied, and then having a car race. Absolutely demolishes the guy. Who was the guy? His name was like Clay. Oh, oh! You've got it. You got the nail in the nose, man. You've got it sorted. You know all the names. Tokyo Drift is good. I remember it. Right? It's probably my most. It was the first. I be, no nine was the first Fast and Furious movie. It's, no, Hobbs and Shaw was the first Fast movie. Oh shh. Hobbs and Shaw. And then it was nine. And then I and then I watched. Yeah. The um. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. But it's a good movie. You know, it's not a perfect movie. It is not. It is not oh, like oh, an award-winning movie. It has got its massive problems. I see that. Thirty-eight percent Rotten Tomatoes. I can see why. But as a Fast and Furious movie, you know, good old. It just feels so much like one. It does. It's like this the Tokyo version of one. Yeah, I feel like they try to capture the comedy of of it, and it doesn't work. Um, yeah. As well, like, I feel like one, one just slapped. One was just good, like, out yeah, and out. It didn't try to do anything. Yeah. It didn't, it didn't go out of its depth or anything. Um. Yeah. Well, where, where would you rank this one, this one, on your list? Because I go, first is number one, second is number seven, third is number five, fourth is number two, fifth is Tokyo Drift, sixth is number six, seven is number three. Four, but three chronically. Eight is num is number nine, and nine is number eight. Where do you rank it? I would go five to one. Yeah. Probably yeah. Five to one. Tokyo. Uh, Six four. Eight, nine. You, you completely left seven out. Oh shit! Okay, just push <laughs> it, push it all down one, and uh, put seven in. Five, four, two, um, one, seven, Tokyo, or five, two, one, Tokyo. Yeah, five, seven. two, one, seven, Tokyo. Five, two, one, seven, Tokyo. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, I'm looking at my letterbox. I don't know when I rated it. Obviously, when I first watched it, I gave it a four stars. Tokyo Drift. Oh, that's a bit what, harsh. I would, four. 
out of five. Oh, no. Yeah. No, okay. okay. I will need to rewatch it. I don't think it's fourth star worthy. Maybe three and three, three and a half. Um, I, I think three and a half is fair. I was planning rewatching all the fast movies, but it kind of comes out tomorrow. I mean, I could. Could we please? I remember when we did our our hype tier list at the start of the year, like, oh, we're watching this movie opening up. We're watching this opening up. We're watching this. We can't stay up. Where today. was this? We we cannot stay up today with movies, bro. The amount of movies we missed in March, I don't. I honestly can't be bothered. I literally work in a movie theater. It, it we work in a movie theater. It's the easiest. It's so easy for us to go and watch a movie. But me, I could not be bothered. Some movies, I I just yeah, yeah. I'm not hyped to see ten. I, I'm not eager to go and see it straight away. I'm not eager to go see it tomorrow. So I'm probably going. to Because I don't think a lot week. of people are. I. I, I'm probably gonna go like see you next week. I am not eager. I was, but uh, we'll say this in our final predictions. But yeah, what I've heard so far about the movie, um, I don't know. It seems like it's gonna be probably you know ranked low on my list, like nine and eight. They just keep getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> and then twelve got oh, I th- bro. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, Predictions. So currently, I am three from four. I thought Guardians wasn't going to be as good as it is. Guardians is great. Okay, I'll concede yeah, that. Yeah. My first incorrect prediction yeah, of well, the I'm, year. I'm going shit with mine. Fast 10 will be better than 8 and 9. Okay. Like, the uh, people's I, overall reaction will be that it's better than 8 and 9. Okay. Yeah. I... <sighs> The reason I don't like 8, I'll say this in our 8 review again, but also, it's kind of like Dominic Toretto does a Luke Skywalker in The Last Jedi. He com- his, he's just ca- kind of... his character completely changed. Yeah, but at least, it, at it, least it, he has a he valid has a reason. reason. His little kid was... Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah what do we say about Star Wars? Your, yeah, okay. Your prediction, like, your guesses for how, if movie's going to be good or not, you've been 3 for 4. I've been 0. I, rec- I think. So there was Quantumania. I thought it was going to be epic. It was a disaster. Then there was Creed 3. No, Creed 3 I said would be good. I just wasn't excited for it. You said it wasn't going to be. Uh, you you didn't like it as much as you did, as you thought you. Uh, you, you didn't think you were going to like it as I much was, as you did like yeah, it. Yeah. And then there was... And then there was... Um, Guardians. I thought it was going to be bad. And it was amazing. I kind of wish yeah. it was bad, just so I could ping off Marvel, but now I have a reason to stay with it. Guardians was my make or break, and it made it. Um, and then we got 10. Yep. 10, I... i got to face the facts. I don't think it's going to be good. Oh, I don't think it's going to be good. I just think it's going to be better than 8 and 9. I don't think it will be... 9 was shit. 8 was... 8 was a better made movie than 9. I just don't like the story of 8. It's kind of, you know... Eh. No, that's okay. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I think I will rank it like 8th on my list. Yeah, no, I think it'll be either 7th or 8th. 7th or 8th, yeah. On, on most Probably. people's list. Unless, unless they do something... Like, if they have a really emotional scene with Paul... That is well. That is why Fast and Furious Seven is my second favorite Fast and Furious movie, be because of that ending. So if they manage to yeah. pull up a really emotional thing with with Paul, and if the deep fake doesn't look a total wreck, I might <laughs> love it. Okay, emotion emotion a bit is a big thing for me when I watch movies. It's why I love Seven. It's why I love Return of the Jedi. It's why I love Edward Scissorhands. Emotion is like one of the biggest things in films for me. So if it does that well, I'm just saying, I don't, if they do that well, then I won't care anything else about the movie. Yeah. Um, that's our Tokyo Drift review. What do you, what do you give it out of five? You said three and a half? 3.5. Yeah, I yeah. think I might change my rating fair. to that. 3.5, I think I agree. Um, I might rewatch it. Uh, no. I might have time. I don't know if I'll have time to read it some more. Um, but yeah, that's our ranking of Tokyo Drift. Let us know what you give it out of five. Where do you rank it on your Fast and Furious ranking? Are you excited for Fast X? Um, so sorry that, you know, we kind of really delayed these road to Fast X. Give up on it? 
Yeah, so my my streaming software froze. I'm so sorry we kind of, you know, <laughs> did not keep up with our Road to Fast X reviews. Um, We just kind of got really... Got, I don't know, this time went so quick. We're already nearly in June. Like, what the I freak? know. It just went so quick. Okay, blame time, not us. It went too quick. You know, one day after the other. Yep. Uh, yeah. Um, but no, we'll have our Fast 7, 8, and 9 review out tonight as well. And then we'll have a little predictions video. Um, so, yeah, we'll get these out quick. They, yeah. Alrighty, guys. We'll see you literally in the next ep uh, episode, Fast and Furious 7 review. Alrighty, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.